Pekatu Temple is a beautiful and inspiring place. It is located in Pekatu Village, Kuta Subdistrict, Badung District, Bali. The temple is 30 kilometers to the south of Denpasar. The temple, also called Pura Luhor Yulawatu Temple, is one of the six Sad Kayangan temples, the main spiritual pillars on Bali Island. This temple is the most popular tourist attraction on the island of Bali, where many guests come to enjoy the beautiful sunset view against the backdrop of the sacred temple and the ocean. Unmatched natural beauty deserves a very popular tourist attraction. If you really like the view of the sunset, then this tourist attraction is perfect for you. At Uluwatu Temple you can see the sunset with the expanse of the ocean from the Indian Ocean. Take a moment to enjoy the beauty of this phenomenal work of nature. Uluwatu Temple has always been a very popular tourist attraction in South Bali Islands among tourists, because Uluwatu Temple offers very beautiful sunset views. Seeing the beach view from the temple Uluwatu, and seeing the process of the sunset making a very beautiful beauty is incomparable. You will definitely feel at home for a long time here while admiring the phenomenal works of nature. Located at a height and standing on a cliff will make the view wider without obstruction. Enjoying this beautiful view with your partner will make a memorable experience in your life. The Uluwatu Temple has always been the best among the rows of tourist attractions on the island of Bali. So if you are on vacation on the island of Bali, don't miss this Uluwatu sightseeing attraction. The sunset time is around 6.15 p.m. and will finish around 6.30 p.m., about 15 minutes to see the sunset journey in Uluwatu. And this hour can change according to changes in the weather. A very pleasant feeling to see the Uluwatu Temple sunset which is phenomenal and gives comfort to see the change of day into night, with a slightly reddish light making the color of the sky around the sun very bright. Very beautiful, the feel that you never get anywhere else, only here at Uluwatu. Highlight of Uluwatu Temple, as for what you can see is the beauty of the Uluwatu Temple which is located on a rock cliff with a height of 70 meters from the bottom. Seeing this view is very amazing and becomes a very beautiful photo background with a very stunning blue sea background. Seeing the sunset here is so amazing, where the dim light from the sun creates an incomparable beautiful scenery, as if spoiling your eyes to see. A very extraordinary sensation and so perfect to be immortalized in photos with natural beauty that is very charming and unique. Because of how beautiful it is, it's no wonder that many tourists come here to see the sunset with the background of Uluwatu Temple Uluwatu and the expanse of the blue ocean here. Seeing a group of monkeys occupying the area, here there are several monkeys that often roam around Uluwatu Temple. And these monkeys are cared for by the temple administrators and fed every day so as not to disturb tourists who visit here. Even though they have been fed, the name is definitely an animal. Have a naughty nature, this is understandable. Watching the Keswick dance near the temple, where there is an open theater to watch the early Keswick dance. And this Keswick dance starts in the afternoon at 18.00 to 19.00 p.m. with a duration of one hour of performance while the story that is narrated tells the story of the Ramayana, and is presented so beautifully so you will be carried away by the storyline. Those are some things you can see if you visit the temple Uluwatu in South Bali Islands. Etymologically the word, Ulu, means, the end, top, or peak, while, Watu, means, stone. So Uluwatu temple means a sacred place built on the top of a rock. Is Balinese Hindu Uluwatu Temple that located in the southwest direction as a temple to worship God in the form of Batara Shiva Rudra, is an ancient Uluwatu Temple in Bali. The historical background of the establishment of this Luhur Uluwatu Temple, although it is not clear when it was built, it is estimated that it was built during the Sri Emsula Masuli husband and wife kingdom around the 9th century, built by Umpu Kudaran or by Umpu Rajakrita title. There are two different opinions concerning the history of the temple. Uluwatu Temple First Opinions Some people believe that Uluwatu Temple was built by Umpu Kudaran in 9th AD, during Marikata's reign. Umpu Kudaran is a Buddhist priest from the village of Gira in East Java. He came to Bali because of the urge to teach Dharma and religion, was very instrumental in uniting the sects in Bali, so that the Kayangantiga Temple was realized, the manifestation of God as the Tri-God. Murti and denied Kempulan, the history of the establishment of the Luhor Uluwatu Temple, related to ancient relics or the physical form of the Uluwatu Temple, such as the Bracket Temple or the Kori Gulungagung in the temple courtyard that limits the temple grounds, characterizes that this temple is an ancient relic, 
The physical form indicates that the Uluwatu Temple existed before Umpu Kuchiran came to Bali. However, no inscription has been found that mentions the exact year the temple was founded, because some sources say this temple was built at the suggestion of Umpu Kuturan. Uluwatu Temple Second Opinions Other people claim that Uluwatu Temple was built by Dang Hyang Nirarda. Dang Hyang Nirarda came from Java to Bali during the reign of King Gelgel, namely Dalem Wataregong, has many names or titles, namely Dang Hyang Gwajendra and Ida Padanda Sakti Wawu Rao. Dang Hyang Nirarda came to Bali in 1489 AD during the reign of Dalem Wataregong. Dang Hyang Nirarda came to Bali in the context of the Dharma Yatra, but his Dharma Yatra would never return to Java. The priest on the journey of Tirta Yatra in Bali has built several temples in remote parts of the island of Bali, including the Uluwatu Temple that located in Pekatu Hill. After completing his mission for spiritual journey Tirta Yatra, Dang Hyang Gwajendra returned to Uluwatu Temple for receive the revelation. He moksha, died and his body vanished, leaving the Markapada, worldly life, and entering Swargaloka, heaven. Uluwatu Temple Ceremony the Payadalan or ceremony commemorating the Uluwatu Temple anniversary is held on Angara Kasa Day, in Wuku Madangsha in Kaka calendar. Usually the ceremony lasts for three days thronged by of thousands of Hindus. The Balinese Hindus believe that the three divine powers of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva become one here. That belief results in making Uluwatu Temple place of worship of Shiva Rudra, the Balinese Hindu deity of all elements and aspects of life in the universe. Uluwatu is also dedicated to protect Bali from evil sea spirits. Every six months according to the Balinese 210-day Pawakan cycle, big temple anniversary celebrations are held at Uluwatu Temple. The temple's keeper, the royal family of Juro Kuda from Denpasar, are patrons for the event. Believers regard it as a manifestation of the divine power that protects the temple Uluwatu. Public facilities are available, but not in the Uluwatu Temple area. Unlike some other tourist destinations in Bali, the temple area has limited amounts of hassling vendors. Kesik and Fire Dance As for enjoying the beautiful sunset view with an amazing ocean background, there are other tourist attractions that are no less interesting, namely watching Kesik and Fire Dance performance at this Uluwatu temple. The location of this Kesik dance is not far from the temple with an open-air theater designed to accommodate many people and with a very beautiful viewpoint overlooking the ocean and temple. So while you watch the Kesik dance, you can see the beauty of the sunset and the beauty of Uluwatu Temple from the theater. It's an amazing experience where you can see three very beautiful things in one place which is Uluwatu, sunset and Kesik dance. The duration of this Kesik dance ranges from one hour in duration by bringing the story from the Ramayana where Hanuman is assigned to free Sinta from Ravana's abduction. A very legendary story, very well presented so that it will not make you bored but very entertained. If you want to watch this Kesik dance, we suggest coming early at Uluwatu Temple for buy this Kesik ticket because this show is always very crowded. Uluwatu Temple Monkeys The type of monkey in the Uluwatu Temple is a long-tailed macaque which with the Latin name Macaca fascicularis is a monkey species that lives in Asia, with habitats tending to be in the forest. The species of monkeys are the same as those found in Alas Kedatan Monkey Forest. Sangha Monkey Forest and also Ubud Monkey Forest. As for the habitats they live on cliffs and trees around the temple area, and these monkeys are highly protected by the local community and are believed to be the guardians of the temple. Monkeys in Uluwatu Temple are preserved and looked after by the caretaker that work in here and will be given food every day according to a schedule in the morning, afternoon and evening. So as not to disturb tourists who come here, but the name is also an animal. If they see food they will immediately come over and take the food. Uluwatu Temple always makes tourists curious about the beauty of the ancient temple with its unique location on a cliff and with stunning views of the sunset over the Indian Ocean. A natural scenery that is very enchanting and will certainly give a deep impression in your heart. If you like sunset views then it is not wrong if you choose Uluwatu as a list in your tourist destination on the island of Bali.